All right, so this little tutorial is going to show you how to update your blog as well as some of your WordPress uh, site pages. So we're going to take the lovely Jennifer Braff here. Uh, yeah. It's actually a subdomain name I've set up until we're finished with the website and then we'll bounce it over to her main domain. And actually this tutorial is for her. What's up, Jennifer? But uh, I realized that it's a, it's a kind of setup um, for the blog and pages. It's an amazing new theme called X. But uh, the fundamentals of how you do this carry through many, many themes. So hopefully uh, quite a few of you will get uh, something out of this. So uh, every WordPress theme has a login. So you go to the domain forward slash wp-admin. That's just universal. They all have that. Um, and that's how you get into update your own site. So username, usually um, it's good to just keep it admin. And then you have a cool secret password. Um, might as well check remember me. Your computer's good like that. It will do as such. Unless you're away from the site for quite a while. And there we are. Uh, this is actually the latest WordPress 3.8 has. It's got this dark theme. There's some new functionality. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to keep this real focused. So say she, you want to update, um, you want to add a new blog post. Go to post, add new. Title of the post, um, hey, why not do test post sites, Com. And uh, this is actually related to the theme, all these little bells and whistles here. The, these top two rows come with every WordPress uh, theme, foundation, etc. So we're just going to focus on those. Ignore these icons that are special to the theme. And these come, these uh, format categories come with every WordPress theme setup uh, post backend. So put the title of your post here, and the rest of it's pretty straightforward. Uh, And a couple other tricks. Say you want to make, um, let's see. Uh, say you want to make this a hot link. Check out this site. Highlight this. Go up into this little chain link. So you're basically telling what you want this word to link to. What do, what uh, URL? HTTP, www, etc. So um, click. I just, it's a little tricky. Some people remember in this HTTP, but that's. If you're going to be doing this a lot, it's very important to remember this. Forget www. That's like 2001. So, um, and then title is when you mouse over it. So you'll, you'll notice uh, some text pop up when you're mousing over on a website and has a live link. That's what do you want the viewer to see? A little, a little trademark symbol in there. And then usually you want it to, oh, you don't want to take people away from your website. So have it open in a new window. Just kind of get in the habit of checking that. And add link. And there you are. You don't have to put the HTTP in. People aren't going to see that the uh, anything other than just what you want this to represent to them. So check out this site. Ooh, what site? And then when they mouse over it, it turns into that little hand. And then they see that. And ooh, wow, I got to check that out. So... Uh, and then usually not for this theme, you want to go check featured image. And um, again, I want to keep this tutorial real short, um, but either set your featured image and you can select from uh, your gallery, which is what's already been uploaded to the WordPress library, your media library that has all the content to your site, all the images, PDFs, uh, photos, etc. But if you want to upload something from, say, Dropbox, and then you go to whatever Dropbox folder, put it in order of alphabetical, easier to find, and then uh, select the image. Ooh, that's tasty. I'm going to use that image for my blog on amazing new uh, healthy dish of the day, or, or et cetera. So we're not going to upload that to Jennifer's site. Um, so, and then you you know you select it set featured image, bam, and you'll see a preview of it right down here. In this uh, blog setup, in this theme setup, it works best to, which I also want you to see, say you want to put a little thumbnail, a little image in there, um, put the cursor wherever you want the image to show up at. Um, in her 
site. I like it right here. So go add media. Now say you've already uploaded it, go to your media library and um, say you selected this image here. You want that to showcase for this blog post. Very important here. Do you want it to be in the center above the text, to the left of the text, or to the right? Rarely, I don't know, usually it's left or center. So here I'm gonna go center, very important here, link to. That's if you want that image to go somewhere. So say it's a magazine article image, um, your brother's magazine, and you promote, want to promote him. You would say media file, um, and then type in where, sorry, you would say custom, my bad. Media file goes right to that picture, um, but custom URL. So, uh, you know, timemagazine.com, whatever. Um, and, but, and here you cannot set for it to open in a new window. So be careful when you really want to use that. Uh, here, if it's just an image and you don't need it to be clickable, uh, just put none. So I want her image to the left with the, the text to the right of it. So if it's a huge image, you want to downsize it. Her image is, is a good size already. But let's just say I want to shrink it a little. We're going to go to medium. And uh, insert. There it is. So, and also you still have options. If you click on the image and you want to go back and change it, this little image icon pops up. So you want to edit it. So you can go, you know what? I want that above the text. You know what? I want that to the right of the text. And that's cool because it shows you exactly what it's going to look like. Um, and then none pushes all the text down below. So usually center or left is what I would recommend. Um, and then the alternative text, is, it's kind of for Google. Anyways, I, I, I want to keep this one short. I, I do that sometimes, right? I go off on too many detailed tangents that aren't uh, pertinent. So, but again, if you want to go back and have the image link to somewhere, uh, link to the image, uh, the link we've, actually there is no link, we even linked it to anything. So if you want to say none, which is where I wanted this image to go, or if you want current link, and then you type in the HTTP, remember, colon forward slash forward slash and then etc. In her case, I don't want it to go anywhere and that's where we left it. So I'm going to cancel out. And we're looking pretty good. And if you want just a quote, um, just put, uh, you know, a Steve Jobs quote or something, what have you, and then click that, it'll put some nice big quotes around it. And that's all that you will see in the blog. Uh, if you have a video, Video link, audio, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and a gallery, again, I'll get into that in another video. So also important, what category for your blog does this fall into? Like someone wants to search categories like beauty tips. They want to go to Jennifer's site. You know, I just want to see her beauty tips. If you go to the blog and you click that category, any post that was tagged with that will show up under that. And you can also set a couple, like just say it's, it's a blog post. They're all going to probably be checked with a blog post. Um, and then whatever... Uh, other category pertains here. Um, so say it's uh, health routines, but it's also beauty tips. And then we just hit publish. And we've already set our, chances are you're already gonna have all this set up. So I'm not gonna get into how you set up your blog, but it's all chronological. So if we kick out to another window, go visit site. pretty rocking homepage. This lady is pretty rocking, period. Um, so we click over to blog. What do you know? There it is at the top. So uh, if you scroll down to hers, this is kind of like a magazine layout. It sort of staggers as magazines do. If it's a, if it's a good size image and you, you want it to, to dominate the whole uh, width, then just you want an image more than half the width of the page and then it'll push everything over. So the ones where she has a smaller image is it gets the magazine effect and it's cool. You just click the title and it goes right to that. If you want to leave a reply, you want to comment, you can also uh, disengage that. So um, there you have it. And you know, one other thing, let's go back to here. Say you want to update your pages, go to pages similar philosophy as how you work with the blogs and say, say I built your site out and you go like, you know what? I want to change something in the about page. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna make out uh, some more current text or you wanna tweak some text. It's literally that simple. Go to pages, um, you're already inside. You wanna move the picture, you wanna delete it. You want to upload another one. You know, I've already uploaded that in my media folder. I'm gonna click, uh, shoot, now I forgot which one I just deleted. That's, uh, that's good. Oh, I know. It's the, I just can't remember where it was. I hope she doesn't mind. Hope you don't mind, Jennifer, scrolling through your pictures here. They are all on your blog, so I'm assuming it's okay, or your website. So uh, again, we're gonna left. Remember this, I don't want it to click to anything else. It's just a picture that's in my blog. So go none. I'm glad we went back to this just to really drive that home. You know what, I wanna go full size on this this time. Insert in a page. Bam, there it is. And then I want to, you know what, NBC's hit television series, Age of Love. Say she wants that to go to their page. Delete that period. Highlight this. Remember the chain link. Um, I have no idea what that, uh, just for text or uh, tutorial purposes, it's Age of Love. Check me out in Age of Love. Again, that's when it mouses over. I want to open a new window, add that link. There we go. Uh, it's blue here, which is just a default, but when we go to, um, again, I, if I hit save and go back, uh, you'll see it's the theme is pink. That we, we selected a, there's a couple different colors in the theme, but it just turns your link into pink. Anyways, so there we are. I'm not going to save this one because I like the way I had it before, but um, you want to, oh, one other thing. Say you want this Hello Friends to be nice and bold, big. These are the different sizes. Heading one is huge. Heading two is a good size. Three is pretty solid for a header. And it goes all the way down to three, four, five, six. And in the theme settings, which if you're just updating your site, you don't need to deal with all the specifics of how it's built out. And that's kind of the tricky part. So, um, but if you do want to change it, you want to change the color, just go to right here. Um, you can either select the colors they give you or go to more colors. Go, you know what, I want a nice um, deep orange. Bam. Or if you have the color code number, copy paste it in there, click apply. There we go. Say I want a little larger. You know what? I want heading three. Heading three is, a, and it's actually, this is just a WordPress default. It's larger than this. You can do a little bit of trial and error. It's different for every theme, but that is how you would change the sizes from one through five, each one through five. Or you know what? I just want it to be a paragraph. Um, I don't want it to be bold. I don't want it to be italicized. So these are, you know, basic options of any like Word document. Again, I'm not going to save uh, this because I like the way we had it before. So that is uh, how you rock your blog posts. Oh, you know what? I want to make a new post. It's going to say, you know what? Leave this page because I don't want to save that. And one final time, you know what? I want to edit one of my blog posts. You know, the about exercise one. Go back there. Say there wasn't an image, say you want to put an image. I think you can remember those steps. You want to italicize, you want to put spaces between. Looking good. Update. Always click update or it's not uh, going to save it. And there you go. So uh, this is Sterling Williams, the web stylist, hashtag the web stylist if you get a chance. And sitesbysterling.com, styling you for worldview.